Hello, Karen Wolf here in the art studio this evening. Uh, I am a painter and I teach adults and children how to paint and uh, how to become better painters. Uh, I'm in the art studio here this evening to paint uh, Henry's little dinosaur. Um, this is... Um, <laughs> I don't know if any if you all have seen this. A lot of people have seen it. But this is a little um, painting of a dinosaur that Henry, my grandson, he's three, and I had painted together the other evening. And everyone loves it. And I do too. <laughs> and Henry loves it too. He's real proud of it. Um, but um, I don't have uh, his painting. He took his painting with him. Um, so all I have is the reference photo and mine will, my painting will not look as good as Henry's because, um, I'll, I'll, I just have a different, I just will put a, a different twist on it and it won't look as, as loose and free as his does and, and as cute as his is. Um, but, uh, a lot of people have been asking, um, for this. Hey Brooke, thank you for coming on. Um, a lot of people have been asking for this one uh, in an art kit, <laughs> and it is cute. It's really cute, so I don't blame you for that. I would want it in an art kit myself. So uh, what what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to paint it on here uh, live so that if you purchase the art kit, you can have something to go by, so not just the reference photo. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to paint Henry's, uh, Henry's dinosaur. I'm going to move you a little closer here. And this is backwards, so it's hard for me to figure it out. So I'm going to, I'm going to move you a little closer over here, and we're going to paint Henry's dinosaur. And we're going to go by this reference photo. <laughs> hey, yay! That's right, Brooke. Yay! Hey, Ashley, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, this is, the, ki the kids will love this one. And, it, and it, Henry and I painted it in no time. I mean, it was like, we went downstairs and we got the uh, brush together, paint together. I said, what do you want to paint? He said, a dinosaur. And I'm just going to take a half inch flat and get some green on it and, and, and just start painting in here. Uh, he got the <laughs> he's funny. And all I'm doing is I'm just going into green, just green. But he, he said, he said, now I want to paint a dinosaur. And I said, well, okay. And if, when you buy the kit, this will all be drawn on here for you. It'll come and it'll be all drawn on here for you like this. So you don't even have to draw anything in. But see, he just went like that with his brush. He just, he's just so carefree and he just paints like, you know, loose and free and pretty. Um, but he said he wanted to paint Arlo. Does any of your kids watch uh, The Good Dinosaur? <clears throat> Arlo is on The Good Dinosaur, and Henry loves that show. And all I'm doing is painting in here with the green, I'm, and all I'm using is a, a half-inch flat. When you, when you purchase the kit, uh, it will come with the canvas with the drawing. It'll have the paint all the paint colors that you need, and um, the drawing will um, be drawn with a, uh, I draw it in with the Sharpie, the, the different things, so whenever you paint over it, you'll be able to see behind it. <clears throat> you'll be able to see what's underneath. So you're going to paint, and you can paint around the eyes if you want. You can paint around those eyes, but I just painted over top of them. But you can paint around the eyes if you want. So I'm just painting in the shape of his head. And of course, Henry went kind of wild right there <laughs> and brought that down a little bit. But man, that catbird, he can paint. He, he can. Um, but if you want, if your kids, um, Henry's three, like I said, and I don't know what the age would be for that show, but he loves it. And he, uh, he likes Arlo. So he said, Dan, I want to paint a dinosaur. So we went downstairs and, and Got all the paints and stuff out, and we painted the dinosaur. So this is what he painted. And when I paint with Henry, uh, with the kids, uh, the little kids, you'll have your drawing on. Take that outline, take your brush, 
and just outline, take the outline of the color. And that's what I did with Henry. I said, Henry, now look, and like I said, he's three, and I, I drew this outline in. Of course, pretend like all that green's not there. And I drew the outline in and I said, Henry, here's your brush. I want you to take this green and paint in this, this place what Nana made right here, what I drew in this, this shape. I want you to paint in there with the brush. And of course, he does pretty good and he gets over here and he gets got a line. And then here, man, he took that big brush. I think he must've had a half inch flat. <laughs> he went crazy, didn't he? He went crazy, but I like it. I love it, love it, love it. It's cute as it can be. All right, so then we're gonna come down here and what he did, he I just outlined this in the green. I just said, you know, here's this and we outlined this in the green. So I'll, they're a little bit farther apart. Let me fix that. <clears throat> but anyways, that's the cutest, that's the cutest show, the cutest show. Or movie, it's not a show. It's a, a movie about dinosaurs. And if you haven't seen it, uh, I've seen it a lot of times. Uh, it took me a long time to see it from start to finish. <laughs> and all I did was took my brush and, and cleaned it off and, and got that out of there. Because there is a separation right there. Um, but uh, it took me a long time to watch that movie from start to finish. Because Henry kept... Uh, you know, how kids are, they get distracted. But it is so cute, it's really, really cute. I loved it, I still love it. I watch it every chance I get. So we're just putting in this shape of the feet right here. And uh, while that top's dry, drying a little bit, we'll have to dry it with the hair dryer. So then I'm gonna go into the a little bit of black, take a little bit of black. And just gonna paint some black in down here on the bottom. Just some, some black. And just touch in black right there. And then I'm gonna go into the white, a little bit of white. Um, looks like we used uh, brown. I need to get a little bit of brown. We used sienna. And I don't have any sienna on my plate. So, but anyways, this will be real cute. And what you do is if you want a, um, an art kit, I have them available here in the art studio. And just let me know um, that you want an art kit. Just, uh, just put in the comments, art kit, if you're interested in an art kit for the dinosaur. And... Um, I will uh, make arrang arrangements with you to, to get the, the art kit. Uh, and they're local pickup, uh, the art kits are, so uh, it's local pickup only. So, but if you, um, you don't live local, then I, I'm just putting in these little uh, things right here for the feet, the little feet things. Here's to his, like, toes, whatever they are. And we're just putting in, just touch those in right there with the, the brown. I just went and got some brown, a little bit of this sienna brown, and some white on my brush. And put those in right there. So just one, two, three, four, just some feet. All right. Then uh, with Henry's, I didn't even real, I didn't even paint in the background. Um, he didn't paint in the background, but you can if you want. You can paint it in, um, you know, like a, a gray color, or you can paint it in blue, or, you know, whatever color that you want to paint it. You can paint in the background. Um, you can take just some blue color and... Ooh! Ah! Gosh! These little 8 by 10s they're hard to, hard to keep on there. There's nothing to hold them on. So you can just put a little bit of blue in the background if you want, or you can leave it white like Henry's. Henry didn't even paint, he doesn't paint his background in a lot. He, um, like I said, he's just three and he really doesn't have a very long attention span. So um, I can't, and this will help me cover up this mess I made down here. Um, I can't get him to hardly, um, 
paint for very long because little little ones don't have a very long attention span. <laughs> so it's hard for me to get him to paint for a really long length of time. So anyway, so you really don't have to paint in the background. I wouldn't worry too much about it, but I did because I, I had a little place down here where I wanted to cover up for one thing. Like I said, with the little ones, you really don't even have to do that. And if you do, you might want to use a bigger brush than what I've got. But if you do, this will give you some idea of how you can, you can do that. You just paint in around it. Just paint in. <clears throat> but I, I had just started doing the art kits. I have not had them in the studio before. I've not... I've not given a, um, I've not had thrown that out there, that idea out there, and I kept seeing them, and people, well, I did offer art kits uh, when COVID first started, and I was first started doing the onlines. Um, I did, I forgot about that, uh, but I hadn't done them for a long time, and I've been doing a lot of uh, the videos. Hey, Jean, welcome. Hello, hello. I've uh, been doing a lot of the videos online, and um, I thought for kids that that would be nice for people that didn't know what to go out and buy. You could just buy the, you know, buy the art kit and stop by the studio and pick up your art kit for $10, and uh, that's what I'm selling these for is 10 That's what I'm starting with. I haven't had no idea, so that's my starting number. That's where we're, that's where we're at right now. And for right now, what I've got is the dinosaur and the giraffe. I don't know if y'all saw the giraffe or not. So I just went around the outside edge of that and painted in the background with some blue. So that's all we've done so far. We're going to have to dry him a little bit because we can't go back over him again until he's dry. I'm going to dry him with the hair dryer. Get that good and dry. Y'all say hey when you come on here so I can see see who's on here with me, if you don't mind. And if you all don't mind too, if you would like to uh, just spread the word and, and let folks know, that's always great too. If you sprinkle the love out there. <laughs> We're not allowed to say that other word. All right. So I've got that good and dry. Well, we're allowed to say it, but you know what I'm saying. But it just helps for, you know, for those of us who are small business and on here trying to, to get the word out, um, it's real helpful uh, when you all come on here if you, uh, or anybody's uh, that's on Facebook that has a business, if, for that matter, um, if, you know, to get the, uh, the, uh, post or video or whatever it is to, to go, um, it's important to, um, to help folks out and, and like and, uh, share and comment and get that, that's the word you're not supposed to say. I don't know if really if it matters, but that's how it, uh, you know. That's how it gets out there and how people hear about it. So there's the dinosaur. And see, I told you, mine's going to be more perfect. Henry's is going to be more abstract. So, guys, I just can't help it. That's how I paint and that's how he paints. So you can soften that edge a little bit if you want. And, and theirs will be loose and free. Let them paint, guys. Let them paint. Just let them paint however they want to paint. So then Henry and I took a little bit of that green. And we added a little bit of yellow to the green and just brightened him up a little bit in a couple places. Just took some green, touched in with some yellow and brightened him up a little bit. And then rinse that brush. 
And then I'm gonna uh, do the nose. Oh, he just went into the black with that brush, a little bit of the brush, or a little bit of the black. Hey, Rick, welcome. And we're just gonna do the, the nose, and, and just touched in the nose, touched in the nose. And what I do a lot of times with, the, with him too, when uh, it's, you know, something like a shape like that, um, I uh, hold his hand kind of a little bit, or I draw, like I said, I draw the circle first and then he paints in the circle. So then take a little bit of that black into the green and then uh, just went like that to put the mouth in. Just took the, the brush and just drew the mouth in. Nothing, nothing fancy. So the kids can do this um, easy. You just make it easy. Then I rinse my brush and dry it with the paper towel. You can go back into these and go into your your brown color, add a little bit of white and touch some white just on there a little bit. Let them do that, it's fine. And then I'm gonna have to dry it for the eyes. I'm gonna have to dry that for the eyes. Cause you can't paint over that. But I told you, Henry's would look better than mine. It just, that's just the way it is. So I think we did white. I think we just took a little bit of white on our brush. Took that same, I've used this half inch flat this whole time. So I just took a little bit of white. Hey, Pat. Hey, Brittany. Thank you all for joining. Your kids will love painting this, so you better get grandkids and grandkids. So we just paint in a circle for the eye and another circle over here for the eye. And like I said, if you draw that in first, or not draw that in, when you get that kit, or even if you do want it without the kit, you can just draw it in yourself. Um, you can um, draw that in, do it with a Sharpie, and then um, you can see the lines underneath when you draw it on with the Sharpie, you can still see the lines underneath. So whenever they paint over top of it, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Um, not show, or you know, it'll show through. And then I just put a, clean my brush, dried it with paper towel, got a little bit of brown on there. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of brown circle, a little brown circle right here. Love painting with the kids, though. They're they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. Henry is a blast, and he loved this one. He was so proud of it. But this will be available um, in an art kit. So if you live local and you'd like to pick one up, if you uh, are interested, it's they're ten dollars for the art kit and you make arrangements with me to stop by the art studio to pick it up, just comment down below that you're interested in the, the art kit and you just put some black on your brush, go in here with the black, paint the little circle in the lower part of the eye. So it looks like he's looking at me. I'm just gonna put a little bit more green right here and just touch that in just to, so that doesn't look like two great big old black circles there hanging out. And then you take your white, just take a little corner of white on your brush or on the, on the end of the brush, doesn't matter. And we'll put a little bit of a white up here in the top of his eye. And that's it. That is the dinosaur, easy peasy. He's an easy one. And you can soften those down here a little bit if you want so that, that they're not so black, but doesn't matter. There you go, there's the dinosaur. Isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? 
Knew that one wouldn't take very long. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. He's a cute little guy. Henry's is cuter, though. Henry's is cuter. Oh, shoot. His is, his is so cute. I can't turn it. There you go. There it is. Hey, Kathy. Hey, hey, hey. All right. So there's that. Pretty easy stuff. Um... It's, uh, it's just fun to paint with the kids. They, they need all this. Hey, Christina, there you go. There's your video. <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, but they need, they need some, uh, time away from TV and time away from, uh, all the, you know, the electronics and stuff like that and just have fun and paint and, um, just be creative. Uh, it's good for them. It's good for you and uh, you're making memories and you'll have fun with it. So um, it, kids, they're just, they're just great. So um, always spend time with them and, and do things like this and, and you'll not regret it, I promise. So the little, the Henry's, Henry's little dinosaur. This is Henry's, so Henry's version of Arlo. <laughs> oh shoot so but you can go back and watch this if you're watching it on the replay uh, I ha have fun with that and um, like I said if you need an art kit just comment below let me know and um, we'll I'll con I'll reach out to you and contact you and and we'll make arrangements to get that um, um, get them put together and you can pick them up here um, at the art studio. So um, it's always, always fun times here, always doing something exciting, something going on at all, all the time. So we had our first live, did the first live um, painting party last night. Uh, that was a fun time. So uh, if you missed out on that one, we painted the color, colorful cactus. If you missed out on it, uh, you can catch the next one. Um, it'll be, uh, who knows what, and it'll be really fun. So you never know. Who knows? Uh, yes, you jumped right in on here just in time, Christina. Um, and, uh, like I said, you can, uh, follow along. You could probably do it without even the video. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right. Well, thank you guys. Um, uh, you guys are great. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, this was a fun little, little quick, uh, little easy dinosaur for the kids. Uh, get those kids to painting. If you need an art kit, let me know. This one's a pretty easy one, but if you need an art kit, um, I can fix you right up. So just comment below that you need an art kit for the dinosaur. I have art kits for the giraffe. Did you all see the giraffe? Um, I've, I've got it over here. <coughs> I don't have the, yeah, I do. I don't have the picture of the giraffe, but I do. Um, these are, this is the art kit. This is what you get. You get a little bag of goodies. This one is for the giraffe. And it has, uh, inside of it, it has your, it has a couple plates, a couple foam plates. It has your cup of paint, has a cup for your water. And then inside it has your paints your little paints. And then it has the brushes that you need, the paint brushes that you need, and uh, a little picture of what it's uh, supposed to look like. You have um, the uh, template, the little tracer, and um, instructions, step-by-step -step instructions. Um, this one, there is a, a video on here on my Facebook page. There's a video that you can follow along uh, where I painted with Henry. So if you can't find that video, let me know and I'll. And then you get the canvas with the drawing on it. So um, that's what I was saying. I, I traced it in with the um, template and then I put the Sharpie drawing on so that when you go to paint over it, um, it doesn't, the, the drawing doesn't go away and you can still see when they paint, you can still see behind it or you can still see it through you can see behind it. So anyways, I've had a crazy day. 
So there's that. All right, so that's fun times. So I can't get that back in the bag. So there's your art kit. And the, that one's for the giraffe. That one's $10. And I'll be making art kits for the uh, dinosaur. If you're interested in that one, that one's $10 also. You get the same thing. You get the uh, canvas with the drawing on it, the tracer, the picture, the paint, the brushes, um, all that you get um, for $10. And like I said, these are introductory prices. This is something that I just wanted to throw out there to you guys. So grab them while you can. Get them, and brushes are hard to find, so <laughs> who knows how long that's going to last. Um, but I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I keep searching on the internet and trying to find them and everywhere else. So, um, But anyhow, that's why I wanted to get the kids going on this painting journey. So you all uh, take care. Thank you all for joining in with me and watching. And like I said, art kits in the studio. Available $10 right now for the giraffe and the dinosaur. Um, the videos, both of them now, are on here on my Facebook page. Uh, and you just go to the videos, and the dinosaur video will be there. And you scroll down, and uh, the giraffe video is on there also. So, um, trying to make it easy. Trying to make it easy. So, y'all take care. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great Friday evening or whenever you're watching this. Have a great time, and I'll see you back on here next time. Bye-bye.